Hey everybody, it's Roxin, Roxy, uh, doing a video today. Um, there are a lot of things I need to take care of, but that'll be for an account update. That'll be coming soon. It's taken more time and effort than I expected, so that'll be coming eventually, but this is something different. This is about my little bag. As of right now, it's not such a little bag. Um... I call it my mini bailout bag. My friends refer to it as my purse within a purse. And some people just call it weird. So, um, it's kind of like an EDC pouch slash survival pouch slash emergency pouch. I'll just show you what's inside of it. You can call, me what, call it whatever you please. But I'm going to call it my mini bailout bag. Um, first let's just talk about the pouch. The pouch is what was called a mini backpack. I got it at Rite Aid, which is like a CVS pharmacy sort of thing, for $3.99. And I wish I would have bought more because this thing's really awesome. I saw it and I had to do, like, I knew I had to have it. I didn't know what I was going to use it for. But, um, picked it up anyway because it was cheap enough. And, uh, just started putting stuff, a few things in it and then... When I started getting into EDC and such, it sort of filled up how it is. So I'll just go through the pockets and um, tell you what's in each thing. Hold on one second. All right. So here we go. Start in the front pouch. This is a little bungee thing, but it's kind of just more for looks. So first I have a red Sharpie. A little pill capsule that has um, an O ring in it. It's just got some Motrin in there, which is probably the most useful thing in here. I have a, see, I think this is just one gig, a one gig USB drive. Doesn't have anything on it just in case I were to, I don't know, needs it for something or other. It's a good thing to have with you. Um, something I also got when I got this was this, and it came with a little crappy carabiner. And this is a little pen and a little notebook. It's, you know, better than nothing if you need to write something down. And that's how big the front pouch is. Second zipper pouch is kind of like a hygiene sort of thing. It just fits quite nicely in there. You got some Burt's Bees chapstick. Some wintergreen Altoid Smalls. I actually prefer the peppermint ones, but I have the wintergreen ones and I don't really use them. So I just put them in there. Some uh, little travel size scope mouthwash. And some of these um, Colgate Wisp. It's like a tiny little portable toothbrush. I haven't used them yet, as you can see. But I thought it would be a nice addition. They were cheap enough. Main, this is like a poor man's bailout bag. All this stuff is really inexpensive. So, I mean, it's not that big of a deal. Alright, and um, it's the size of that pouch. It gets pretty big, but it can fold down to be really small. Alright, so just have um, in the big pocket, the main, the main compartment. Just have this little um, pocket knife that I just tossed in there yesterday, actually. Got... All this stuff is like keychains, like if I just join this all together, I could put it all on one big keychain pretty much. A crappy little like triple A flashlight. I mean, it's alright if you needed it in some sort of emergency. Why not, you know? It's better that than nothing. Let's see what else I got in here. I have Dum dum pops. I don't know why. Why not? Blood sugar's running low. Just want to. Need to shut some kid up. There you go. Um, the knife. You might recognize this. It is the. I can't flick out. What am I? Who am I kidding? Um, Ozark Trails dollar Walmart knife. Yes, I know it is a Chinese piece of crap that I'm sure some. Six-year-old kid worked over, but it's a dollar. I'm out. Um, 
Yeah, that happens with this. It doesn't flick out, but when you push the lock, it droops down. So if you go like that, it will hit your knuckles, and it will be a little bit painful. But, I mean, I'm not going to say this is a good knife. It sucks. But you pay a dollar for it. I also paid a dollar for, like, that. Or, like, I paid more for that Sharpie than I did for this knife. Like, I can beat on beat it to hell. I can give it to someone who needs it. It doesn't matter to me. Um, so just threw it in there. Couldn't resist it at a dollar anyway. Uh Bic letter. Took the child's safety off of it. That's a pain in the ass. The main compartment is more of the important things. Um got uh, it says Johnson and Johnson on there. I got this for like a dollar and fifty cents. This little um, first aid kit came with some band aids, but I put more in there. Uh, where is it? Okay. So in addition to like band aids, butterfly closures, some cleansing wipes, you got some gauze at the bottom. I'm not gonna take it all out because that's kind of pointless. I put these two little tools in here. Just some. Nail clippers and this little silver multi tool that has a um, little flathead screwdriver and bottle opener, nail file. If I can get it out, nah. Small blade, just a little tiny blade. But if you need something small, compact little multi tool, this is good. And actually, I carved my name in a tree the other day, and I used the end of this just to dig into the tree. It was pretty. It worked pretty well. So, got those. Um, next. Okay, you can see that pocket right there. How it has like a flat bottom, and it has like this little pouch back here. This has a belt loop on it, so if you want to look like a nerd, you can put this on your belt or carabiner. And it has this little hole up here, like a lot of backpacks do, is if you want to loop some earphones through it, so you can put your iPod in there. What I use it for is I keep some like flatter sort of things in there. Um, three quarters. Three dollars, and this is actually one of the more useful things. Like, out of all of this, I've used this the most, and I just put it in there. So, card wrapped with some electrical tape, and this is just chrome duct tape. And my friend needed duct tape the other day when I was on retreat, and so I gave her some, and I needed it the other day for something I can't really remember. But it just—it's useful. It's a more practical thing to have. It takes you about two seconds to do. It's really flat. And it's just a really useful thing. And this could be duct tape. Duct tape can't fix it. Nothing can. Nothing can really convince me otherwise. I say that way too much. Um. Oh, but three bucks. I don't know. Three is a weird number. I love the number three though in all increments of threes. Like three, six, nine, twelve. So on and so forth. Whatever. Um. Why three bucks? Again. I don't know. I like the dum dum pops, why the hell not? So, I'll show you the bag again with nothing in it. See, it's really flat. Um, that has this little handle, which even when there's nothing in it, kind of tends to flop forward if you're holding it. But whatever. So this is my little mini bail up bag, poor man's bail up bag. Purse within a purse, mini survival kit, whatever you want to call it. It's kind of like an urban sort of, it's an urban a lot, urbanized, I don't know, it's an urban survival kit, pretty much, but in miniature form. So, uh, this is my, this is my kit, this is my setup, everything right here fits into this bag. Um, I know, I should probably get a better knife, I should get a better flashlight, I should get a better multi-tool, but... You know what, I work with what they have. I really didn't buy much to put in here. I just kind of took stuff from around the house, so I'm working with what I got. So, thank you for watching. Have a great day.
Rock on.